Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Beast Armor, Bumblebee, and yes, this is from the Rise of the Beast movie line, which just which been out for a while. And I found this at the thrift store. So I was stoked to find this at the thrift store. And I got this with a whole lot of other figures for 50 bucks. So I definitely enjoyed finding that at the thrift store. It was awesome. But before we start the review itself, we're going to hold off a few minutes until it says a minute and then we start showing off each figure now it's a, been a minute this figure becomes the armor for Bumblebee and it reminds me of Ravage the way it's designed and painted head does come off and you can use it as a shield if you want it to be that articulation legs move due to the transformation just not very much Head does not move. But that's all there is to say for that. Next on the list, we're down to looking at Bumblebee underneath. You can see he's got visible head syndrome. And he rolls. Very well. Now it's time to transform Bumblebee. First, I loosen up the legs, split them, work on the arms. And I'm doing this without popping them out of the socket completely, which is good. And here we have a nice looking Bumblebee. Yep, he looks pretty good. Not having any elbows, but otherwise he's pretty good looking. Bend at the knees. Love that. Combine him with the Spark Armor. I don't have any other Rise of the Beast comparisons. So let's combine him with his armor. Plug it in. Pull off the tail. Comes the sword. And I just dropped poor Bumblebee. Sorry about he fell out of frame. And then we're going to fold this down like so. Flip this in. His arms will be like that. And then we're going to give him his beast sword, which is the gimmick with this figure. 